again it's Frances Brown at Frances Brown Art welcome back to my channel and here we have a lovely um, vinyl as usual I'm going to do a pour into this item I was recently at the beach and I found this on the beach and I thought oh, I'm going to pour into that so I'm going to just kind of do a I'm going to kind of mix some paint in here I'm going to pour some paint into the cup and then do a straight pour I think onto this and see what happens <laughs> who knows um, I've just got a selection of different colors um, so let's see what happens I think I'm gonna kind of put a bit of white just a tiny bit because whatever happens whatever you pour at the end comes out at the big no end comes out at the beginning so the beginning comes out at the end so if that made any sense at all so I'm just going to layer the things that I'd quite like to have in the middle. They really are quite unusual colours. I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure quite which ones I picked. I just picked some at random I think today. I'm in that kind of random mood. And this is my oh I love this turquoise colour at the moment. that then we go with some dark purple and then if you notice I haven't put a, a cushion of paint down today not sure why I just think today that wasn't going to happen um, oops. and then I think we will have some silver Always nice to have some iridescent colours, and then this beautiful bluey green. And then maybe just let's interesting. Let's put a bit of this green in with the bluey green to see what happens with that. And then a bit more white. A bit of yellow, oh, just a tiny bit, maybe. That wasn't that tiny, was it? <laughs> and then I have this, I do love this, probably won't put too much. The um, bronzy, kind of coppery color. that went with the pink and the bronze of the copper. Change the white. I think we've probably got nearly enough. Some people seem to pour like huge amounts. Um, I guess it's different styles isn't it? That's not my style. Um, anyone who's seen my paintings knows that's not how I work so and we're going to finish off with pink because it needs finishing off also there is a bit of um, of the uh, silicon oil in the pink I don't think the silicon oil in anything else so let's see what happens shall we white's finished as well I think I've got some cushion white ready in case we need to um, help it around. But let's see. Ooh, exciting. So that's in the middle. I have washed it. It looks looks kind of rusty. It's actually made out of plastic, so I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let's see if this does anything. Ready? Here we go. The pink is very thin. I don't think that I'm on a level. Or 
what you're supposed to check when you have a level surface. But I'm going to do that because I don't think we were and now we're going to be. <laughs> really pretty. Not at all even. However, I shall soon organise that. There we go. Now, I think I shall... It would have been useful to have had it on a twirly device. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's just take it off. actually let's put a bit of this this is the white cushion that I usually use it's quite thick so I'm going to try and put it round to kind of help it along that's really thick isn't it I thought that was thinner <laughs> got my trusty see that will help it to um, to move hopefully Unless the white is too thick now. Oh no. Bring it back in the middle. Yeah, I think my paints were not all evenly. Um, A lot of people would say, oh, that's really bad. <laughs> but um, for my painting, I don't mind. Because we're not all even, are we? But I'd like to meet somebody who's even. Even Stephen. lost the pattern of the, um, the flowery type pattern but this is really pretty Let's try and get all that white off I'm losing a lot of paint fear not though uh, because obviously I always use everything that falls off in a later painting Right, this is my catching jar, so I can catch it all in there in a bit, get it all in there later on. 
I'm already covered. <laughs> right, I think that's really pretty. Kind of like a, I'm not sure what it is actually, a bit like a, let's see, let's try and center it a little bit. lovely let's fire that up see what we can do with a bit of heat get rid of these bubbles that's for sure see if anything comes up oh i just thought wow that's amazing i've just found something in here that needs to be removed it's gone now another thing sometimes bits fall into the paint but that's all right so I think this is really pretty it's a very very gentle sweet little pour I think there we go so ta-da Okay, I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here's the close-up. You can really see some really nice sills that have come up. I'm really loving these colours and that turquoise and the pink actually will, um, will be really pretty when they're dry because they're iridescent. So this is going to be stunning when it's dry. Look at all these little cells. <laughs> Always lots and lots of things come up when it's drier. I can spend hours looking for things in there. It's a bit cloud-like there, isn't it? So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please follow me um, or subscribe or like or do any of those things. And if you want to see the dry result, it's on my Instagram at Francis underscore Brown underscore art. And for the meantime... Sending you lots of love. Okay, bye-bye.